Hi, this is William Steele with Where's My Media. Um, here at the New York TR Expo in New York. And I just wanted to show you uh, this um, excellent GPU rig that I've set up. Um, it's actually driving an HTC Vive with controllers uh, without any problems. It's got a GeForce GTX 1070 in it. Um, and this is running off of my 2016 uh, MacBook Pro 13 inch. Um, this took me a couple of days to figure out how to get it working with minimal effort, um, but I do have a solution. So here you can see actually it's working, um, you know, the client is working, pulling the muscle bone, and this is running off my Thunderbolt 3 connection. And so what I'm going to show you is there's a couple things you need to do to be able to get this to work. So I actually have Boot Camp running on an external SSD, um, Windows installation of Boot Camp, with Boot Camp. And what we're going to do is, um, there's a couple things you need to do to actually make this work. So the first thing you're going to want to do is, um, we're all going to shut down and we're going to start from scratch. So when we're, before this computer starts up, what we want to do is we want to boot into the boot selection process. And there's a couple things you need to do that. You're going to see, um, uh, you're going to just do the normal boot camp uh, partition. So you hold down the option key, make sure you do not have your Thunderbolt cable plugged in. Hold down the option key so you get the, the um, uh, boot menu. And again, here we're going to see our partition. So there's two EFI boot partitions. The first one is going to be your boot camp. The other one is the um, is a set EFI boot partition that is going to free up system resources to be able to run the external GPU without crashing your Windows installation. So we're at first, without the Thunderbolt cable connected, we're going to do the, the first EFI boot partition, which is the standard, uh, standard boot camp partition. And that's going to boot us in. And that's booting off my external drive I have here, the USB 3. Um, that's plenty fast enough uh, for our purposes here. So this will bring up Windows, and we're going to need to do something. It's pretty easy. Um, there's a um, there's an open source app that's called Set GPU, and we're going to use that to set the active GPU to our integrated onboard GPU. And what that's going to allow you to do is be able to run both your integrated graphics GPU in conjunction with the eGPU's G GeForce GTX 1070 at the same time. So we'll go and we'll log in. And I have this um, GPU switch software. It's just, you just download it. There's no install. You just run it. I've got a shortcut to here. So we're going to just run this as administrator. And that's the integrated batch file. You run the integrated batch file, run as administrator. It's going to run. You're going to see. Um, it's going to say successful. If you don't run it as administrator, it'll fail. So make sure you run it as administrator. And you see the space bar. And now all we need to do is shut down. We do a full shutdown. Again, without the Thunderbolt cable connected yet. And something else important to note. We do not want to use the right to Thunderbolt ports on the 13-inch MacBook Pro with touch bar. So if you plug anything into those ports, the computer will freeze, Windows will crash, you might have to do a reinstallation. So you do not want to plug anything into the Thunderbolt ports, no USB-C, nothing, or it will cause, it just won't work. It'll freeze. If you're in Windows already, you plug something into it, you'll get a blue screen down. So do not do that. So we're going to plug into the left side Thunderbolt port first, and, and then just, just maybe just give it a second, and then just, again, power and option key to bring up the boot menu. And this time, when the boot menu comes up, we're going to um, we're going to select the second EFI boot partition. So we have the first and the second one on the right. We're going to select that and we're going to boot off of that. And we're going to boot into Windows. Now you're going to notice that after this boots, the display that's plugged into the graphics card um, in the GPU won't immediately um, may it not immediately power up. If it doesn't, it's as simple as just unplugging the um, HDMI cable or the display port cable and plugging it back in. So let's see what happens here. There we go. Okay. So you still see the secondary display is not yet active. We're going to log in. And if it doesn't come up, which it didn't, all we need to do is just unplug this display port cable. Plug it back in, and it should come right back up. It looks like it's detecting it, and now we've got that up. And if we look here, when you right-click, we'll see both your Intel graphics settings and your NVIDIA control panel. 
So in the NVIDIA control panel, you'll see up here we're running the GPR, GeForce GTX 1070 um, NVIDIA drivers, and this is all working. And so now I can go and I can start up my Steam VR. And I now can run a um, very lightweight uh, setup of um, the Nation Survive with Steam or an Oculus Rift since we're in Windows. Um, why am I doing this? Why am I not doing this in Mac? Because um, if you've read, uh, Mac now officially supports an eGPU setup in OS X High Sierra. The problem is they only support AMD cards. And AMD cards are not as powerful, they run hotter, they suck up more energy. Um, I didn't want to deal with that. I wanted a reliable um, VR setup that I could run with my Vive. Um, instead of waiting till NVIDIA or until Mac OS decides to officially support NVIDIA cards. So there you go. Um, very simple and easy to do. Um, it took me two days after reading through long examples of running all these different scripts and everything. Most of that stuff is not necessary. Follow uh, this procedure um, on a touch bar, uh, 2016, late 2016 MacBook Pro, you will get the GPU to work uh, on a bootcamp installation, even with an external hard drive. So, um, hope you enjoyed this. If you're watching this and you're in New York, come to the New York VR Expo and uh, check what we're doing with Where's My Media Out. Thank you.